Thanks for joining us for this Zero Waste video series segment. The Zero Waste video series is organized by Waste Free Advocates, formerly Recycling Advocates, an Oregon-based nonprofit organization dedicated to empowering and connecting Oregon communities to minimize overconsumption and waste. With this video series, we are seeking to not only inform folks who are interested in learning about zero waste efforts within our region, but also to connect to entrepreneurial government and community advocates who to help strengthen our growing network so that we can help each other in growing these positive and impactful practices and infrastructure. Please write in your questions and suggestions in the comments where we're going to be continuing the conversation. Today, uh, we are excited to be speaking with Deb and Emily of Okapi Reusables. Hi. And these folks are passionately working to increase zero waste options on the West Coast. Can you tell me what consumption and waste issues you're tackling? Sure. First, thanks for having us, Elena. We're uh, really excited to be part of this video series. So we're tackling coffee cups. We're starting with coffee cups and then we'll take on cold drink cups. So boba, juices, smoothies, but we'll talk mostly about coffee here. So I'm in Portland and Emily's in the Bay Area and we're both big coffee drinkers and our friends and family get coffee to go a lot too. And I'll say for me personally, during COVID, it's just been so nice to have cafes to walk to, to go see other people and socialize a little bit, even if we can't sit in. And I think we're all feeling a little bit more, I'll say, connected to and responsible for small businesses, um, including cafes. And here I'm sitting in this, you know, Portland is such a, a rich history of specialty coffee. Um, and a lot of people are really waste conscious, but we forget to bring our own cup. Um, I do, we all do. And it adds up to a lot of disposable cups. So that's really the problem that we're trying to solve. And I think people listening here will know that coffee cups and lids aren't recyclable, they're not compostable, even if they're marked compostable in Oregon, they don't aren't accepted at composting facilities. So um, it's kind of a bummer that it adds up to almost a million cups a week in the metro area. Yeah, it's a lot. So we want to change the experience here. Um, and we're modeling our approach on uh, reuse programs uh, in New Zealand and Australia in particular. There are reuse programs in a lot of different cities, but these have had the most impact and the most happy repeat customers, pretty important. So how it'll work at, at a high level is you'll be able to go to your favorite cafe towards the end of the year here, especially on the east side of Portland, order your drink in a returnable cup, an Okapi cup. Um, checkout is really simple. We'll talk about that in a second. And take your cup to go, um, enjoy your drink, and then return it to a bin at that same cafe or at any cafe in the network. So we're targeting the really dense walkable neighborhoods, and there are so many across town here, so that you can drop it anywhere and it's really convenient. Um, and that's basically how it works. So you'll be able to get coffee without the guilt and without having to remember to bring your own cup. And we were doing some numbers, and if we got 25 cafes. So this is a town of almost 600 cafes in Portland proper. So if 25, 25 cafes offer this service and let's say 25% of people used it, it's like 6,000 cups a week we would wow. say. It's a start, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. the program that we're envisioning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would love to see what they look like. Um, do you happen to have uh, anything you can show us what they look like? I have cups and I know Emily will be sharing too. So he, this is a one that we're looking at and testing is a stainless steel double wall cup. Uh -huh. And this is a sugar cane based lid. So the lid is disposable, um, but it would degrade. Yeah. And we've got an opportunity for cafe owners to have their brand on the cups as well. Yeah. So right. they're pretty solid and pretty uh, durable, clean, um, high quality cups. Yeah. It looks like a really good coffee drinking experience too. Like that's such a built-in part of it. What will it be like for the cafes? Um, like if, you know, speaking from the perspective of a cafe owner, uh, what will it be like for me uh, to get these cups? Uh, do I keep them in stock? Uh, things like that. Like what's it gonna be like for that from that perspective? Yeah, so starting with the, the cafe owners, so we would provide the fleet of reusable cups to the cafes. 
Um, and that helps take on the risk of trying something like this. You know, we would address restocking uh, as well as um, addressing any lost cup or damaged cup issues for the cafes. Uh, for coffee, we're testing the double wall stainless steel cups. Um, they would nest well, so hopefully be very compact uh, for the baristas. Um, they are, uh, they also keep your drink hot longer, uh, which is nice. Uh, we would also additionally provide cafes all the signage and dis display materials that they would need to help explain how this works for customers and hopefully make it easy and smooth for baristas and not slow them down. Um, for boba tea, we're actually trying a uh, borrowed silicate glass um, jar, um, but still kind of in testing mode for that in terms of finding just the right container. Um, for cafes, we're trying to make this as uh, low risk and you know reduce the barrier to entry so trying to make it price equivalent to how much they're already paying to buy all the disposable cups um, and lids and sleeves uh, and make the integration really smooth so um, the customers will have an app to check out the cups but the cafes themselves won't need anything to be, you know, they won't need to scan anything, you know, there's no additional step in their process and their operations. Yeah. Um, I can share my screen. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So that is the cup that we're trying for cafes, yeah. uh, for coffee, for the customers. So um, they would sign up um, through our app. And uh, when you go and request your drink, uh, you could you would essentially order your drink in a reusable cup in the same way that you might specify, you know, what kind of milk you want um, uh, or what size of a drink you want. So it would be an option to then essentially get your drink served in the reusable. So, you know, forget if you forget to bring your own, the, the cups will be there at the cafe for you. And uh, you would, from the app, scan a QR code at the cafe show that um, confirmation screen to the barista so that they can say, yep, you're a part of the network, you're, you're ready to go, and, um, and then you get to enjoy your drink. Uh, when you're done, then you would have two weeks to return the cup to one of the participating cafes mm -hmm. um, within the network. And there's another code on the return bin that you would scan as you drop it off. Um, and so at any given time, we would, um, uh, give folks two cups that they can kind of check out and return at any, you know, and, and have in circulation. Um, but once returned, the cafes would wash and sanitize the cups to be avail available to be used again. Um, so every cup is fresh and clean. Um, for customers, there'll be a one-time uh, $10 membership fee. So, you know, we're really trying to make this uh, affordable. Um, so it wouldn't be an annual recurring fee, just a one-time fee, but it does help us scale the service to more cafes and reach more customers and increase our collective impact. Um, and then after the one-time fee, then it would be a quarter a cup for each use. And that sounds like right on par with uh, like the, there's a, a new uh, trend starting in. It's just taking hold, but uh, cafes charging for the paper cups, the disposables. That's it's, right. it's kind of the new thing and it's it's what's to be most effective in discouraging the waste of just kind of thinking like, oh, the paper cup is just how I get the coffee to me. So having a fee attached to it is like the science proven way. So I, that sounds exactly right on target. I, I'm, I love these cups. It's, it's so, uh, it, it's so perfectly meeting the problem of the coffee cups where we've been working on getting so close to this. Um, for uh, the cafes who want to connect with you guys, uh, are, are, are they, do they just reach out to you? Is this something where, uh, like I, you said that it's just beginning the pilot and it's getting going, but do they uh, just reach out to you? Like, how are you connecting with folks? 
Yeah, so we're doing a lot of outreach. We're sort of out there on the street taking the the cups yeah. to cafe owners and baristas. So that feedback is really helpful to us. But if there are cafe owners or baristas that are interested in listening to this, they can reach us through our website and they can just ask to try the cups or learn more. So they connect with us there or we've also got an Instagram account. They can send us a message there. And we also want to say to coffee drinkers, um, nominate your favorite cafe. That really helps us. Um, and if they do that and the cafes sign on with us within our first three months of service, again, which will be later this year, um, those people that nominate those cafes will get six months of free service. So awesome. please send in your nominations. Oh, cool. I, I love that uh, opportunity for uh, something that we can do to help. Uh, another thing that I wanted to know about, like, just in the spirit of collaboration between uh, entities, between businesses, between consumers, between governmental bodies, um, is there anyone that you're wishing to partner with uh, within business and government uh, that you, or even within education entities that you're seeking to connect with? Yeah, so we've been spending a lot of time connecting one-on-one -on -one with consumers to ask them about their coffee routines and tell them about our service and understand their interests, what value does it bring to them, their concerns. We've been talking to cafe owners, obviously, and baristas. Um, we've talked to the Oregon Health Authority, and they're comfortable with our process because cafes washing and sanitizing our cups is the same as dine-in dishware, so the regulations are the same. Yeah. Um, but where we, to answer your question, where we like to connect with others, I can think of really two categories. So businesses like Grand Central Bakery or New Seasons here in town, where there are a lot of locations, they're really popular, they serve coffee, they care about sustainability. We love to find a way to make it work for them to be part of our network. We've even had cafe owners say, let us know when you know New Seasons is a part of this. Um, the second category is business sponsors. So as we gain traction um, in cafes and with consumers, we'll be looking for businesses to help sponsor events like a neighborhood launch or an exhibit um, that will help us grow. So we'll be looking for that. So businesses that are interested in being in front of audiences that are you know, frequent coffee to go or boba or smoothie drinkers, and they care about sustainability. If that's a match, we'd really be interested in talking with them as well. Excellent, excellent. I hope that those these connections are happening. Um, that's totally our goal in uh, hosting this uh, as the Waste Free Advocates Organization. Um, and you uh, already gave us a good tip on how we as Waste Free Advocates can uh, help to connect our favorite coffee shops to say, hey, hey, favorite coffee shop, here's this thing that's coming along, uh, meet up, figure out how to get those cups going to your shop. So uh, that helps. Is there anything else that you would have us advocates do to help with this waste reduction effort? You know, it'd be wonderful to get help reaching out to uh, local community uh, advocates uh, to spread the word within their networks and organizations. So whether that's neighborhood mailing lists, uh, corporate green teams, um, More like my Instagram. student organizations. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. 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 I think there are a lot of people that are frustrated with the waste issue, but, mm. you know, haven't had a, you know, kind of convenient, scalable way to address it. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing, but feeling very probably alone in the effort, you know, um, here I am bringing my own cup and nobody else is. Um, <laughs> You're speaking like directly to me. <laughs> this can feel very lonely, but I, I absolutely uh, would love to raise a cup with a, with all of my friends. So uh, we will, we will start we will start right up on it. I would just like to thank you both for joining us for this zero, zero waste video series. Follow Okapi Reusables on Instagram so that we can see when the rollout happens um, and be ready to jump right in with those cups. Uh, do you have contact information to share where our viewers can get a hold of you? So we're dgray at okapireusables.com and ichu at okapireusables.com. So we would love to get connected. Excellent. Well, reach reach out uh, and get connected. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. 
please join the conversation, which will continue in the comments section. So please don't be shy, whether you have one question or 10, whether you represent a business or government or community, we all have ideas and connections to offer. This low waste and low consumption lifestyle is for everybody. Working together and doing our part will have lasting positive impacts on our planet and livability. You can help Waste Free Advocates in whatever way you like, from financial support to joining our board of volunteers. Visit wastefreeadvocates.org for links and please follow, like, share, and subscribe to Waste Free Advocates to receive notifications of our events and future episodes of the Zero Waste video series that you won't want to miss. We hope to inspire you to inspire others through your positive influence. And remember that when you share what you know, and who you know, you multiply the good that you do. So thank you for tuning in and keep being an advocate for change in your local community.